Hi, uh, I'm Adriana Valenek, I'm the CEO of Miadria Group, and here with me again is Malin Valenek, our CTO. Hi. Uh, so we have been busting our balls around the public cloud for many, many years now. And uh, one of the most interesting topics that comes up is uh, how the networking uh, changes when uh, companies uh, move to the cloud. Uh, so um, can you tell us more about uh, how uh, networking uh, needs uh, have uh, been shaped up in the era of the on-premise and how it changes when you, you go to the cloud. So in on-premise era, many companies establish their own uh, private networks or uh, virtual private networks where they would run their applications uh, disconnected from outside world. They would have their own authentication system, usually based on either Microsoft Active Directory or some uh, LDAP service. So uh, with the advent of uh, internet and uh, networking, a uh, whole, uh, uh, whole set of requirements uh, popped up uh, for connecting to public cloud. So instead of uh, having firewalls and the packet inspection, uh, uh, protecting applications in isolated networks, suddenly uh, applications run uh, on the internet and are accessible by uh, um, by everybody. So uh, things like uh, multi-factor authentication, new new uh, new uh, uh, security requirements uh, popped up and. Uh, you cannot rely uh, on the internet, on uh, firewalls and the packet inspection. Basically, you have to provide uh, uh, applications that can uh, uh, survive uh, mm -hmm. on the public internet. And the, the other requirement is uh, when you are migrating uh, legacy applications from the old world, um, you also need kind of a VPN, so you, you need to run uh, 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 firewalls in a public cloud and the, uh, somehow you have to figure out who is talking to whom mm -hmm. on-prem and ensure that you can provide uh, access lists, you, you can provide security to keep uh, flows uh, in public cloud as well. So uh since many companies start uh, by using collaboration software like mm -hmm. office 365 or g suite mm -hmm. uh, as a public cloud service one of the uh, first requirement is that you basically don't want to have um, all your traffic concentrated at headquarters mm -hmm. as in on-prem architecture but uh, you would like to have kind of uh, 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 public cloud uh, access on every uh, location mm -hmm. and only for legacy applications you would keep your your own uh, uh, old VPN mm -hmm. and then when you move uh, more of your legacy applications to, to public cloud suddenly uh, your VPN is not suitable anymore because usually it requires authentication by using mm -hmm. older protocols and it does not support uh, uh, multi-factor authentication or it does not support working with OAuth, mm -hmm. which is kind of a requirement, a security requirement for mm -hmm. uh, uh, accessing uh, uh, networks in um, public cloud. So uh, there are a number of uh, uh, steps you have to uh, to do in order to migrate and to provide uh, your customers with the uh, uh, experience that they they are accustomed to with uh, uh, modern uh, web applications. So mm -hmm. th there are a number of uh, uh, vendors, including Cisco, mm -hmm. that are helping companies migrate. Mm -hmm. 
toward uh, public cloud and many of uh, appliances hardware appliances are now available mm -hmm. as uh, virtual machines or services in uh, in public cloud mm -hmm. as well so you, uh, if you still need a firewall and deep pocket inspection you can run uh, those uh, um, appliances in public cloud as uh, virtual machines mm -hmm. and you, you can establish your uh, old old infrastructure uh, until you figure out how, how you can mm -hmm. uh, improve applications or migrate them mm -hmm. to new concept so mm -hmm, great uh, yeah we, we already have one video where modern is talking about internet versus intranet uh, and uh, the we'll put that link um, uh, on the screen as well for you and um, um, the the situation with the networking is such that uh, many companies that we talk to are really not aware how important networking is, is and how networking will change uh, usually we see companies trying to protect themselves from the public cloud with their firewalls and stuff like that can you please comment on that on that mindset that is changing with uh, the move to the public cloud and with the fact that knowledge and um, being aware of uh, the security requirements and and of everything is much more important than, than it really used to be Mm -hmm. So, uh, with the advent of uh, uh, big data and uh, capabilities, of course, security changed. And now, uh, what used to be, for, for example, uh, a simple appliance to protect email server, uh, it's kind of uh, not, not enough, as mm -hmm. well as uh, firewalls or deep packet inspection devices. They usually pose more complications yeah. and uh, eventually expose even uh, backdoors or or security uh, uh, threats that wouldn't be present if applications would be um, uh, capable of running on the uh, public internet meaning that they would be protected with OAuth and uh, mm -hmm. uh, multi-factor authentication and all the best practices that are uh, currently uh, required mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, m many companies are experiencing severe uh, security uh, issues be because they just cannot cope with this uh, a new, new set of uh, requirements mm -hmm. because their adversaries are using uh, capabilities in public cloud. And of course, if, if you come with uh, much older concepts and older mm -hmm. hardware, you are exposing yourself to a number of security threats. So in, uh, in modern networking, usually control plane would be uh, 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 in uh, public cloud and it would be enhanced with the number of big data Mm -hmm. uh, capabilities for uh, uh, monitoring threats and for uh, uh, figuring out, for example, uh, uh, attacks or mm -hmm. uh, uh, things that are still not, uh, or even zero days, uh, uh, zero days attacks, uh, uh, trying to figure out whether there are some flows in your network that are not supposed to uh, to be there or some alarms uh, uh, that can uh, uh, provide warnings that something is going uh, on mm -hmm. that, that it's not supposed to 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 happen so of course uh, google uh, amazon and um, microsoft uh, have to invest an enormous amount of uh, mm -hmm. research in, into security and uh, yeah, your best bet is basically to uh, start relying on on same on same technologies mm -hmm. in order to protect your data. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, so the things are really rapidly changing. Um, this video, as all of our videos, is really short. We we do not want to take up too much of your time, and this topic is definitely worth considering. So this is definitely something that you should be looking out for when you're moving to the public cloud. 
Is there anything else that you would like to add for today? Mm, not really. Mm. Yeah, so if you have any questions regarding the networking, we have our um, public uh, uh, office hours on Friday, so book your uh, free time with us and we can talk one-on-one uh, -on -one and tell you um, um, what, uh, uh, what uh, your specific case, uh, how ca your specific case can be solved. So this was it for today. Uh, look out for the networking in the public cloud and uh, um, have a great day. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mladen, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.